The Schoology calendar feature is a great tool to help keep your students organized and become aware of upcoming events and assignments and be able to access them from one place. There are a few ways that you can go ahead and create events and assignments within the Schoology platform, and we're going to take a look at a couple of those today. So the first way that you can create an event or an assignment in Schoology is to go directly into the course that you would like that event to be posted in. You'll notice on the right side of your screen, you're going to see your upcoming feed, which is going to feature everything that you have upcoming and have posted a due date for. If you click on the calendar icon, this is going to show you different entries for this specific course. If you would like to ever add anything to this course, you can click right on the date that you would like to work with and the little plus sign. This is now going to open up a new box for you to work in, and you're going to see two different options up top. The first one is to create an event, and the second one is to create an assignment. An event and assignment are a little bit different in that e an event is going to serve more as a reminder or a posting on a calendar for an event that might be coming up. So this might be an option that you would use if you want to remind your students that they have a quiz or a test coming up. This might be an option that you would use if you want to announce that you have a group meeting for a club that you are ha having coming up. An assignment is going to give you the ability to give your kids an assignment where they're going to need to make a submission back. So we're going to focus on the event here. So if I want an event to be scheduled for October 30th, I would set my date. I might put in here that we're going to be having a unit, te unit two test. I can put some information for my students about what might be on that test. I can add some files if I wanted to add a file to go along with that as a reminder. I can also include a link to a website that I might want them to work with. Down in the bottom here, you're going to see that this is going to be published to my English 10 course. Now, if I had multiple courses that I was teaching that I would like this event to be posted to, I could come in here and type in the names of my other courses. So maybe I want this event to be posted to both my English class and my studio art class. Once I'm all finished with that, I'm going to click Create, and this event is now going to be posted. So I can actually see this right here in the calendar view. When I'm all finished with that, I can X out of that. And I can go in and check on this by clicking on the calendar icon in the top of my Schoology bar. So now that I'm in my calendar view, I can see that this Unit 2 test has been posted to both my English course as well as to my art course. If I ever needed to edit any of the details for this event, I can click right in that entry in the calendar and I could come in here to edit the item if I needed to do any editing and updating. And if I wanted to view the item details, I could see that from here. This would also be the place that you would go in and delete this if you wanted to delete any of that information or entries. You could create an assignment in the same way in your course by going into the course, clicking on the calendar icon, and selecting the plus sign near the date you wanted to create an assignment for. So here you would click on the assignment tab up top and you would give this a title. You would put in your description here and you would come down and you could set a point value. Again, you're going to see that this is published to students that submissions are allowed, and this is the course that I am publishing this to. If I would like to add it to another course, I could come in here and do multiple courses at the same time. And when I hit Create, this is now going to be posted to the calendar. If I hop over to my student view here and give this a refresh, now as the student, I am going to see that I have a unit test coming up that it tells me it's going to be due on Friday, October 30th. And I'm also going to see now that I have an assignment. So if I wanted to go to this assignment as a student, I would click on View Item, and it would take me directly to the place where I could submit this assignment. 
The other place that you can add some calendar events to is right from your home page. You'll go to your recent activity feed and once you click on that right up at the top it's going to give you the option to create events. Just need to come back here to my teacher view. So once I'm at my home page, I'll click on recent activity and at the top, you're going to see that you could post either new assignments or new events. If you wanted to create a new event, you would be able to come in here and again, select your date, give it a little bit of a title. You could add some text entries, some files or links. And here, where it says post to, you could decide which courses you would like this posted to. So I could do my studio art class, I could do my fourth grade class, and once I'm all finished with that, I would hit the create button, and this would then be posted to my calendar. It will also show up in my upcoming feed as I start working here. I would be able to access all of this from the upcoming. So if I hop back over into my events, I'm now going to see that I've got reminders here. So I hope this tool helps you and that you work with your Schoology calendar a little bit more. And if you have any questions regarding any of this, please feel free to contact me.